Hope you guys are having a great day. To outside, there's supposed to be tornadoes, I've been told, but there's no tornadoes. It's just raining. So, good news there, right? But I do have the kids watching a movie downstairs in the basement, just in case. But the weather looks fine. Looks fine. Um, so today I am talking about what it takes to move states. And I have a few things that it takes to move states for you. Those people who have listened or have moved to a new state, you're going to be like, yes, that is exactly what it takes. Um, the first one is courage, or no, the first one is flexibility and patience. It takes flexibility to move to a different state because all of your plans don't go as planned. <laughs> and the planes don't fly at the time. Sometimes they don't fly at the time they say they're going to fly at. Usually, the Amtrak is late. Um, I Typically, I feel like I just plan for it to be late by like three hours. And if you're driving across country, like it's a long drive, there's things that just don't go according to plan. So it does take patience and flexibility. Sometimes there's housing issues that come up. And so one time Ethan and I spent a week in a hotel with a toddler in a different state. There's lots of other things that come up when moving that we don't think about. That, and sometimes we don't know about things that could go wrong until they actually go wrong. So it takes flexibility and patience while moving to another state. It also takes a little bit of courage. Courage to step, to step out of what we know and the routine that we've developed and we're surrounded by people we know and we know who we typically hang out with and we know how people typically respond. We know which gas station to go to and which grocery store to go to and where to get all of our favorite stuff. It's all figured out at the, our current location. However, when you move to a different state, it's, it's you're stepping into an unknown and you're stepping into a situation where you don't even know the people, you don't know who, how to find them, first of all, or how they're going to react, and what places to go, where the hospital is. Like, I feel like that's kind of like a comforting thing for a parent to know. Like, if, if I need to drive my kid to the hospital, if something happens, where should I go? Like, there's a lot of things that you just don't know when you're moving to a new location, so it takes a little bit of courage. Also, I would say it takes courage to stand in your decision to go even when people are telling you not to. It can be in a hard place because you, there's, there's an aspect of us, I think of everybody who wants to just stay, stay in the same spot. They want to do what they know is safe. They want to do what they know will make them happy and they're warm and cozy in their comfort zone and they, they want to stay there and that's fine. But like everybody has it, so I have it too. And then sometimes when people come at me with like, oh, I wish you wouldn't move, like, God, like, where am I going to find another friend? Or don't, like, there's family that's telling me don't go away. And like all of this stuff kind of sometimes makes me want to stay in my comfort zone a little bit more. Because I'm like, well, I, there's part of me that doesn't want to move. And clearly these people don't want me to move, so maybe I'll just stay. But um, I do know that taking that step in courage and following life into a new state, a new situation will develop growth. You, every time you step out of your comfort zone, you grow, right? So moving to a new state takes courage. The next thing in moving to a new state takes is grace. Grace for yourself and grace for others around you. And if you are moving with kids, give them grace because moving is a big change. And it's challenging for adults, but it's also challenging for kids who oftentimes don't have as much say in the situations or the housing or they, sometimes they don't even get to pick their room. Like, so it seems like, like it's a bigger thing for kids, which, and then they don't know how to process things. So giving them grace, but giving yourself grace and giving other people grace in the process of moving really, really helps. Another thing that helps going along with grace is you don't have to be perfect like at anything, first of all, but you don't have to be the perfect the first time. 
So as you're transitioning and trying new things in new areas, don't tell yourself that just because you're not perfect at something, just because you're not perfect at moving, or just because you're not perfect at getting into a friend group right away, doesn't mean it doesn't mean that you're a failure at it, right? So we kind of got to change our mindset from a fixed mindset, which a fixed mindset says, okay, like if I try it once and I fail, that means I'm a failure. And a growth mindset says I can grow anything. So I try it, I fail, but basically I learn and then I just keep developing skills. So it's basically by giving yourself the grace and saying that I don't need to be perfect right now, I can keep on developing these skills is a way to step into a growth mindset. So if you're interested in learning more about a growth mindset, there's a link in the description of this video. Um, but I just hope that if you guys are finding that you have the nudge to move, I'm, I'm here to give you some tools and tips for if you want to take any steps further, right? So having flexibility, patience, courage, and grace are four things that will help you to move to a state, new state with ease. I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I'll talk to you later.